Downloading and installing our craft in 2024 shouldn't be hard at all. And that's why I'm making this video so I could teach you guys how to download and install these beautiful mod packs. One of my favorite mod packs of all time is still years after I've discovered, years after I've been making videos on this mod pack. So yeah, stick around this video to learn how to download and install this mod pack and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. And now let's get started with the tutorial. Now, step number one for downloading and installing our craft is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, CurseForge is a Minecraft mod pack launcher that will allow you to install mod packs with the click of a button. However, if you would like to learn how to install our craft manually without installing CurseForge, which is the easiest way by far on installing our craft, let me know down in the comments. Anyways, in this guide, we're going to use CurseForge. We have been using CurseForge for the past two or three years already. I don't know how long it's been since I've been making tutorials on how to install mod packs and stuff. And I have never had any issues with CurseForge. I'm not a sponsor by CurseForge or anything. I just have never had any issues. So I use the software. Why not recommend it? Anyways, go ahead and click on that second link. We have a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge, of course. We also have videos on the channel on how to do this if you have any issues, but it's going to be super simple. Go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download CurseForge here. That'll redirect you to the official CurseForge website where you're going to click download a standalone if you're using Windows. However, you do have more download options in here to download for Mac or Linux. Anyways, in this guide, we're going to download the standalone. Once you click on download, the download will start automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file, but for you, it's going to download right away. Once you get the file, the installer for CurseForge, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. If you're using Chrome, you can find it in your recent download history. If you're using any other browser, you can find it somewhere else, probably in your downloads folder or something like that. Once we have the installer for CurseForge, all you have to do is right click and run as administrator, or you could also open it if you're already an administrator on your computer. Like I am, I'm the administrator on my PC, so I don't have to run it as an admin. It just does automatically. Once the CurseForge installer opens, you can select the language in here. We're going to leave it in English and we're going to click next. And then we're going to click that we accept the terms. You can change the installation folder in here, but I'm going to leave it as default and then click next and just wait for CurseForge to download and then install. It should take about like a minute or so. And while CurseForge is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. Let's say that you try to play Hourcraft with friends. Let's say that you try to make an Hourcraft server, but you have no idea where to start. Well, using the first link in the description, not only would you get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting, but they will actually make the server for you, even for our craft with just a click of a button. It's that simple. You use Apex Hosting, you set up the server that you want. Let's say that you want our craft, any other mod pack, or maybe just vanilla Minecraft. Maybe you just want to do a regular Java or Bedrock server. Apex Hosting will do all of that for you. Just clicking a couple of buttons here and there, you get 25% off your first server. And something that is great about Apex Hosting is that you could actually control the server console through your phone so you don't even have to be at home because you could be like at walmart and you just go on your phone and you could kick people out of the server op people ban people whatever you want to do in your server it's your server and you could do all of that with apex hosting first link in the description and let's get back to the tutorial once curseforce has finished installing it's probably going to launch automatically once it does you might get a little prompt in there saying that there's a tutorial i recommend you just go ahead and skip it but if you want to go through it go ahead and watch it anyways you could just skip it and follow along once you skip the tutorial or watch it, you'll get here where you can select the game. Obviously, in this tutorial, we're doing a mod pack for Minecraft, so we're going to select Minecraft. Once you get to this screen right here, you probably won't have any mod pack. As you can see, I have Pixelmon and Aircraft because I have already installed them. However, you might not have any mod pack. All you have to do now is click where it says Browse, and you could either look for Aircraft in here. It's going to take a little bit of scrolling, and you're going to find it right here. It's a one by Shivaxi with 18.8 million downloads as of now. However, if you don't find our craft like that, you could always go to the search bar and type our craft. Once our craft comes up, it's going to say install. Like mine says play because I already have it installed. But yours is going to say install. And all you have to do literally is click the install button and it's going to start installing right away. It's not going to ask you for anything. You just click install and it's going to start installing. And then once it finishes installing, it's going to show here where it says my mod packs. Well, you could come and click play. Make sure Minecraft is closed because if Minecraft is not closed, it's going to say that Minecraft is already running and you might have an issue. I'm going to go ahead and close my game and then we're going to go back to CurseForge and we're going to click play again. And as you can see, now it's actually opening. It might say that it's updating the Minecraft launcher and that is because CurseForge is using a different Minecraft launcher. I mean, it's the same Minecraft launcher that you have installed just through a different instance, let's say. So. Pretty much what's going to happen now is that a Minecraft launcher is going to open. And if it is the first time that you're using CurseForge, it's going to have you logging into your Minecraft account. I have gotten hundreds of questions a lot of the times when I do these guides asking me if you need a Minecraft account, a Java account to play these mod packs. And yes, you do need a Minecraft account to play these mod packs the legal way, which is the way that you should be playing. However, if you have a fake version of Minecraft, you could manually install the mod packs and play them. But in this guide, we're using the launcher, we're using CurseForge. So in order to play, so you're going to need to log in 
with your official Minecraft account. This is the official Minecraft launcher. It's totally safe to log in. I mean, I have logged in myself. And then you will see our craft in here selected automatically once you log in through CurseForge. Anytime you wanna play our craft, you're gonna have to open CurseForge first and then click on play. This is not gonna stay in your Minecraft launcher. And then all you have to do is click on play, click that you understand the risk and wait for the game to open. And I'll see you inside the game. And as we can see, after a little bit of loading, our craft has finally opened. If you click on single player, you could create your world in here. If you want to play multiplayer and you don't have a server, use the first link in the description and set it up. It's super quick. And let's go ahead and create a world. We're going to name this 2024. We're going to put it on creative because actually we're going to leave it on survival just so we could die as soon as we go into the world. And just give it a second for it to load. Our crap is one of the heaviest mod packs for Minecraft with over like 200 mods. I, I mean, I have lost count. It used to be like 170, but I think now it's like 200 and some with the 2.9.3 update. And this is definitely one of my favorite mod packs as well. We actually have done a couple live streams in the channel and we might be doing more live streams so make sure you subscribe if you want to see some live streams here in the youtube channel so now we spawn in the world of course we're underwater because it's our craft and your spawn will be completely random and oh we're next to a desert village which is nice we have a wasteland right there and we could set up our spawn point gotta have gotten good at this game i used to be so bad at this game those of you that have watched my channel since the beginning since i started doing videos know how bad i used to be at this game anyways we're now in our craft and that's that's pretty much it it's a little bit laggy right now, like right there, it's it's completely lagging. There we go, it, it finally fixed, but that's probably because I'm recording, so I have the software for recording open, and obviously it's gonna be lagging a little bit. Anyways, guys, that is how to download and install our craft in 2024. Still working 100%. Like I said, if you wanna learn the manual way of installing our craft, let me know down in the comments, and I might do a video on that. But for now, that's been everything. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and let me know if this video helped you. And as always, bye-bye.